Hey guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making the creamiest, fluffiest homemade chocolate mousse ever. This recipe is so perfect for beginners because it's quick, it's easy, and the texture, you guys, it is my favorite texture for mousse hands. Now, I love this texture. Y'all ready? Let's go. We're going to start with some semi-sweet chocolate. I have some butter in a bowl. We're gonna pop this into the microwave and melt it. You can do this over the stove, but yeah, microwave is so quick and easy. Just be sure to, you know, stir it up every now and then until everything is melted. That looks perfect, let's move along. We're gonna move along to our egg yolks. I have some pasteurized egg yolks. I will put a link on my blog on how to pasteurize eggs. You can buy them pasteurized. Just, you know, yeah, because we're gonna be using raw eggs, so you wanna make sure they're pasteurized. Okay, so I'm gonna add my egg yolks into a bowl. Make sure you get all of those egg yolks in there. Then I'm gonna add in a little bit of sugar. And now comes my favorite part, whisking up these egg yolks. I like doing this because it starts off so bright yellow and then you want to go ahead and just mix this on up until it is nice and fluffy. And don't forget if you have not purchased my cookbook, it's here, it's waiting for you, it's ready to go. So many good recipes in there. Okay, yeah, see look, this is how it should look. This is just so fun to me, I don't know why. You want it to be nice and pale and frothy, just like this, all right? That looks good, so we can kind of move along to our next step, which is heating up our heavy whipping cream. Just place it in a large skillet. We're gonna heat it up just until, you don't wanna boil it, you don't wanna simmer it, just get it nice and hot, okay? Then we're gonna very slowly pour this into that yolk mixture very slowly. Make sure you're stirring it up constantly just to kind of get those egg yolks used to that nice hot liquid, all right? Just like that. That looks perfect. Okay, next steps. A lot of steps, but they're easy steps. We're gonna pour that mixture right back into our pan, okay? Just like that. And then we're gonna stir it constantly while we heat it to about 160 degrees, all right? We're not gonna boil it, we're not gonna simmer it. We just want it to reach 160 degrees. And when it does, go ahead and remove that from the heat because now it is ready for our melted chocolate. So just dump that chocolate right on in there. And for the chocolate, you guys, you really can use any any kind that you want, okay? You don't have to use semi-sweet. I just like semi-sweet. I like the old-fashioned flavor that it gives it, so yeah, but you can use, you know, dark chocolate, what is. Just get it mixed on up. Make sure that it doesn't have any streaks left. And because we melted this chocolate, it mixes in so easily, like I loved it. So wonderful. Okay, so once you have that mixed in, you can add in some vanilla extract if you want to. I always do, I love it. Then I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt. Kinda have that little pinch of salt, you know, so that it's not too, too sweet. It balanced it out, you know, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna stir my vanilla and salt up. And now, we want to cool this mixture quickly. So I'm gonna place it on my little ice pack here. You can place it on a tray of ice cubes. You know, you just wanna cool it off so that it's ready for our next step, which is the heavy whipping cream. So I'm just gonna add my heavy whipping cream into a bowl, a little bit of powdered sugar, and now we're gonna mix this up until it is nice and fluffy. And you'll notice that I'm still stirring up my chocolate because I really wanna cool it off so that it is ready for my heavy whipping cream as soon as it is nice and fluffy. So I kind of just keep stirring my chocolate just to kind of cool it off quicker. All right, so when this cream is nice and fluffy and holds stiff peaks like this right here, so fluffy. Uh, Yes, that means it is ready to go into the chocolate. My chocolate has cooled off. I think it was like 74 degrees, but it was nice and cool. You don't want it to be hot because then it's just gonna melt that fluffy um, whipping cream that we worked so hard to create, okay? It took a lot of patience to make that. So make sure your chocolate has cooled off, but you don't want it to be cold, all right? And be careful not to over stir because it's gonna be hard. You're gonna be stirring this up. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at it. It's so, it's so whipped, it's so luscious, and you're gonna want to keep stirring it like I did, but you have to know when to stop, all right? You gotta stop stirring it. Get your little containers, your little serving dishes ready. I'm using Rampkins because I like these. It's the perfect size because, you know, mousse is rich, it's sweet, it's luscious. You don't wanna have too much. So these little Rampkins, yeah, I like that, but you can really serve these in anything, to be honest with you, you know? So go ahead and just place them, divide it up evenly. I had four little Rampkins here. Am I even pronouncing that right, Rampkins? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, them bowls right there. Okay, so go ahead and add that into your bowl. That looks wonderful. Make sure you get them nice and even. Give them a little shake and a tap to kind of get the um, tops nice and smooth. I don't know why I didn't do that, but yeah, you can get it really pretty and smooth looking. 
Okay, now I'm gonna place these in my little container because you wanna cover them up and then we're going to refrigerate them for at least four hours. Overnight is best. If you can do overnight, do it, but at least four hours, all right? And when you want to serve them, go ahead and add those garnishes. You can use anything you want to. I usually always use homemade whipping cream. I put that recipe on my blog, but today I'm using like some raspberry, a little mint leaf. You can do like chocolate curls, coconut, you can do um, nuts, pistachios, just anything really. Or you can just keep it simple and not do a topping at all. But I would say at least do some whipped cream, you know, like I do something. And you guys, let me show you the texture. Look at that. Is that not ridiculous? It just melts in your mouth. It's so light. I think you guys are going to really love this mousse. It might just be your favorite. I'm for real. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Later.